right, so I'm going to share a recipe that I found on Pinterest. They're called No Bake Energy Bites. I have had a, I'm pretty sure it's this exact same recipe from my sister-in-law. She made them a while back, and they were pretty good. Um, my Noah liked them. I think everybody in my house actually liked them. So something great, quick and easy that you don't have to pull out tons and tons of ingredients. You know, get butter room temperature, a mixer, or anything like that. Like, it is a very couple you know very few ingredients simple things um, and then you can interchange it to however you like if you look on Pinterest and just type in energy bites there are so many kinds out there but this is the kind that I like it's a peanut butter and chocolate chip with coconut so very simple what you'll need is um, oatmeal vanilla coconut peanut butter uh, chocolate chips of your um, you know your favorite kind of chips or chocolate um, I'm using semi-sweet and these are the mini ones and then honey and then chia seeds which is optional and your sweetener is optional peanut butter is optional everything is optional um, except the oatmeal so you can interchange any of these ingredients however you'd like so I'm just gonna get everything measured out I've got my oven going to toast the coconut which you don't have to do but it does um, help uh, with like the extra flavor of toasted coconut and then I'm going to mix it all up in a bowl and we will have some energy bites. Been in my fridge probably for like a half an hour just to harden up a little bit so it makes it a little bit easier to either roll in balls or to cut up so I'm gonna cut them into like one inch squares because the uh, balls are supposed to be one inch what oh, baby I'm coming go sit down I'm coming okay You can totally roll these into balls if you like. Um, and I also thought while I was doing this that you could leave out the chocolate. And if you did it like this or in the balls, you could dip the balls into chocolate or coat the top part with chocolate. And then it would give like a harder um, like topping on it maybe. Just an idea. Okay. So now the first one is always the hardest to get out. Oh, not too bad. There we go. And when I was, I was trying them when I had first mixed it up, and they were super good. Super good. So I'm just going to put them in the container I have left over from my meal prep. It's perfect size container, and they will last for seven days. So I'll have plenty enough if my family doesn't get to them before I do for the week. And don't be afraid to uh, change it up. I saw pumpkin spice ones. I saw peanut butter. Um, I saw somewhere you added like protein powder, which 
I'd probably try that. I don't, I'm not a big fan of protein powder, but like in shakes and stuff, but it would probably be good in here because you wouldn't taste it. All right, hold on baby, hold on. All right, here you go. Yummy, yummy. So give them a try. Let me know what you think. If you have a different version of this that you try, let me know what you like and what you've done. Um, and I will see you guys.